how's it going everybody here we are headed out for another day the leaves are changing like crazy the temperatures are really nice right now 70s to 80s uh, had a big trip planned this morning I was gonna take you guys to a different spot that we haven't been to in a while and then my daughter's truck broke down last night I get to spend all night working on that so we're right back gonna do some spot jumping around our main lake that we're always fishing um, I want to hit three or four spots today, see if I can find some crappies and some walleyes, but we'll see what happens. Let's go. hooked up no you're good man you can come over and talk anytime yeah just so my daughter makes soft plastic lures yeah they're pretty awesome they do a good job here yeah just a little 16th on a swim bait on that one but here's what I've been catching finally been a long day and we're finally on here and it's a little white bass little white bass bit the dough fly up on top the dough fly up on top kind of been of a long day man they haven't been on much of a bite so I'm happy to get anything at this point not a very big one but they sure fight hard and they're fun I got something hooked up on a big chartreuse twister tail. Looks like a pretty good fish. And it's another little white bass. He's just mad. Mad little white bass. Bit one of the big three weight curly tails though. Three incher. That's a good time. Get the mud on his belly. They're working the bottom again. Gone deep. You guys see the mink coming down the walkway? There he is. See him? Looking for something to eat. Coming right to me. Coming right down the walkway. It's pretty cool. Looks like a big old male. Looking for a snack. Still standing there. You guys see him? Gosh, that's a great shot. Right here. He's going to try and sneak by in front of me, I think. He's not even going to sneak. He's just going to walk right by. What are you doing, dude? Craziness.
So things have changed a lot out here. It's gotten cold, kind of gnarly out. It's dark now, but I just had a huge fish hooked that broke me off. So we're gonna work this for a little bit. I gotta go get another lure. I'll probably bring my bag down so I don't have to run back and forth. And Twenty, all of twenty-eight inches. I'm gonna put it back. Let's do this. Twenty-eight-inch fish right there, in Nebraska. Put some twenty-eight-inch walleye going back in. Let's let's release her. There you go, girl. There she goes. So I got in a hurry there and I stopped recording during the release, but I've got some pictures and a short that I'll put out there. That fish was right around 28 inches. I got a 22 inch ruler and it was about six inches past. Super fat, super healthy, beautiful walleye slow as the day's been that's not what i was expecting but man am i happy that's two of those great big fish like that that i've caught this year and all right we got another fish on not sure what it is but it's mad whatever it is Let's see what we got here oh well, a lot more like a big white bass or something, but could be something else. What we got here? It's foul hooked, whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Big giant gizzard chad. Catfish bait. Catfish bait is what it is. I can't even tell. Where I've got it hooked at. Can't even tell where it's hooked at. Oh, not even a hook in it. My line was just wrapped around its tail. My twister is still out there. That's freaking a new one. Folks, I didn't even have that fish hooked. It's a big old gizzard shad. And it just swam by and got tangled up in my line. How weird is that? He's going in the bucket for bait. That's a big old gizzard chat. Right about two. All right, folks, we're hooked up again. Feels like another big fish. If I can keep it pinned here. Hopefully I can keep it pinned. Hit pretty good. That doesn't seem like it's fighting real hard yet. Doesn't feel as big as the last walleye. Which I have since realized that I completely jacked up the recording of. Because my GoPro was taking pictures instead. Not awesome. Oh, big old buffalo cart. Look at that thing, folks. Look at the size of him. Big old buffalo. Jeez. Did you look at that? And he's hooked in the mouth, too. God dang, that's a big dude. Big dude. Look at that lure in his mouth. Oh, uh, actually, I guess it's more in his nostril. More in his nostril than in his mouth. Golly. Man, oh 
man. In his nostril, not his mouth. Doesn't count. Man, that's fun on four pound line with the ultralight though. He decimated my jig. Let's see here, I get him in frame. Look at that dude. How cool is that? Big old buffalo. Man, those things are so awesome. We're gonna get him back. Man, that's fun. Get him back in the water. Go ahead and get down here where I won't fall. All right. There he is. Big old buffalo carp. Yeah. Let's get the release on him. And there he goes, everybody. Oh, he literally soaked me to the bone. Not awesome. Not awesome, but we got him. All right. What a weird night so far. So we're using 308 baits, chartreuse curly tails, just on a chartreuse jig head. So far on our first cast, we lost a big fish that bit us off. Initially, I would have told you that it was a big catfish or a carp that broke it. But then a few casts later, I caught a 28 inch walleye. And of course, my camera was set to picture mode, so all I got was a bunch of awkward pictures of me fighting it. And that's it. I did get a little bit of phone footage and a couple of snapshots with the phone that a guy that happened to be driving by took for me, so thank God. Otherwise, I'd have nothing. And then, about a two pound gizzard shad swam into my line and got his tail tangled up. I reeled him all the way in with my lure five feet behind him, trailing along. And that was super weird. Got another fish on here. I don't know what it is, but just like all the rest of them, it's not very happy. Let's see what we got here. Feels like a good sized fish though. He's pulling good. Oh, splasher. Pulling drag. Another buffalo or what I got going on. Man, I came out here hoping just to catch some keeper size walleyes and instead I'm catching giant walleyes and giant buffalo carp again. Another one right in the face. Keep thinking that they're biting it but the hooks keep being right in their nostrils. So I'm under the assumption that they're not biting it, that I'm snagging them. But I don't know. I don't know if buffalo carp will eat a curly tail. Cut them on curly tails and swim baits. Pretty regular, but these curly tails tonight, they're all right there in the nostril and that just doesn't seem like a bite to me maybe you guys know you guys ever catch buffalo carp in the mouth on swim baits or curly tails because i catch them in the nose on curly tails for darn sure getting good at that another great big buffalo right there oh golly sit still dude there he is i don't know if you guys have handled these fish very much but they have a coat of slime on them that is like handling contact cement it is the thickest grossest fish slime 
that I've ever touched. All right, let's get the release here. Big old ugly dude going back. I don't know how much he weighs, but he's a big boy. We're going to let him go here. See if he soaks me like the other ones all do. And there he goes. Awesome. He's gone. Man, I just got hammered again. It is just ripping out drag. It's got to be another big buffalo carp because, I mean, I was just reeling it along and all of a sudden drag was just peeling off my reel. This feels substantially more upset than the last ones I've caught here. This might be a real fish, a big one. Or it could be another giant walleye. I'm not even going to guess anymore because every time I say I think it's a carp or a catfish, I pull up a 30 inch walleye and every time it feels like something else. It's a carp or a catfish or I don't know. There's always a chance it could be a big old flathead too. They're definitely in here, big old channel cat. There's lots of 20 pound plus channel cats in this lake. It's just kind of a weird time of year for them. Once again, I was not prepared for these big fish. I came out here with my ultralight panfish rod and four pound line, hoping for some 15 inch walleyes or some crappies. and. Instead, the smallest fish I've caught tonight has been a two pound shad, which is insanity. Oh, saw a glimpse of color there, but I couldn't tell what it was. Oh, it's another big old buffalo, and I got him hooked right in the tail, that's why. Jeez Louise. I couldn't figure out what was going on here. Tail hooked. That'll do it every time. That one looks different though. That's not the same thing, just looks different. Try and do a easy release on this one. So I don't have to wash the pig slime off my hands again. There we go. He's free. He doesn't even know it yet. Let's see if I can get a release video without even releasing him. There we go. Big old buffalo swimming away. There he goes. All right, everybody. Well, as you can see, it's pitch black out. I think after hours and hours and hours and hours of fishing, we finally have a little bit of footage. Uh, the walleye bite and the crappie bite has really changed. The walleye slowed down. They're super methodical. The crappie are gone. Um, we did find a big walleye tonight. It was gorgeous, 28 inch fish. Uh, my GoPro messed up. And all it took was a picture of me fighting the fish because I had it on picture mode. I did get the release on my phone, so I'll crop that in there. Caught some buffalo carp, a big shad, some white bass. It was a long session, but we got her done here. If you guys are watching this and you like what you're seeing, hit the like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you guys want any more information about 308 baits you keep hearing me talk about, go over to the Facebook page, 308 Baits. They're going to be at a show next month in november they're going to post that information but they are catching fish man you guys got to get some of these baits uh, she's really good with her colors and her plastic composition and the fish love them so go get you some 308 baits